Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to Flat Tutorials and this is the um, Maze Generator series and um, what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna make our system to find a random neighbor uh, for a uh, random neighbor for the DFS algorithm. Now, uh, in the last episode, what we have done is we make our made our system to remember some information for us, and that information is to uh, hold the uh, to remember what wall is belong to which cell, and in which direction that wall is pointing. Okay. Now, uh, let me tell you how the, uh, the DFS algorithm works, uh, or the for search algorithm works. So here, here it is. Okay. So. Take a look over here. So, if uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by choosing a random cell. Let's say we choose a random cell 12. Okay. Um, so, if we choose a random cell uh, 12, uh, we will we need to find its neighbors. So, there are four neighbors that this uh, uh, cell have, which is 17, 11, 13, and 7. These all are the neighbors, but uh, 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 these all are the neighbors. These all are the direct neighbors. We are not counting the diagonal neighbors like 6, 18, 6, 8 are not the neighbors. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose a random cell, find all its neighbors, which we haven't visited yet. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose a, choose a random neighbor and move into that cell while destroying the, the wall in between them. So that's what we're going to do. So let's say we find four neighbors of the 12 and we chose 13 as the next cell. We break the wall, uh, we break this wall and uh, then on, on when we are over here we're going to find all the neighbors that 13 has and those are 18, 8, 14. Since 12 has already been visited, we are, we are not going to count it as its neighbor. We're going to choose a random cell uh, and do the same. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't find a cell, which uh, if you don't find any neighbor and all the neighbors of the cell has been has already been visited, then what you're gonna want to do is you is you're gonna back up to the previous cell and uh, uh, and try to find uh, or trying to find its neighbors. Um, and, and you're gonna you're gonna want to keep on doing it until you have been to every cell in the maze. And uh, if you have already been to uh, every cell in the maze, we already know that uh, no cell will be inaccessible. And uh, that's how the cell algorithm works. So let's get started. But today what we're going to do is we're going to uh, is we're going to make our system to give us a random neighbor. Uh, we're not going to make him to um, uh, make the system to create the maze for us, but we're going to do it to cr give us a random neighbor. OK, so let's move on and open up the maze script. All right. Now what we're gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna make it a bank right here. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create two functions. The first function is gonna be void, and we're gonna call it create maze. Sorry, maze. All right. I'm sorry, maze. All right. And the next function that I'm gonna create is called void. I'm gonna call it give me. Sorry. Give me neighbor. Give me neighbor. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put uh, this. Uh, hold on. Neighbor. And the, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this create maze function at the end of the create cells function. So once all these cells has been created, we're gonna call the create maze function. Once this function has been called, we're going to call the give me neighbor function, but uh, we will change it later on. But for now, we'll just call the give me neighbor function for testing purposes. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, um, program this to find us some neighbors. All right. So, yeah, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a um, variable. I'm going to call it length. And this is basically an integer which holds how many neighbors we have found. Now we're going to go ahead and go create one more. And we're gonna, this is going to be an array. <coughs> I'm sorry. Neighbor. Neighbors, basically. And uh, uh, this is basically a new integer. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it. Uh, there, there only could be maximum of four neighbors, so I'm just gonna give it a length of four elements, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
do this, right? So, you know, we would need one more um, variable, and this is going to be each variable, which we're basically going to check if we are cornering the, uh, cornering the cell or not. So, uh, you'll understand what it means in a second. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go for the west wall. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to get the west wall. I'm going to go ahead and just call it west. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, check for if it is working or not. So, I'm just going to go ahead and program it. I'm going to go, I'm going to put an if statement go if current cell we need to create one more variable and it will going to give us an error. Okay, so it's giving us an error. I'm going to create one variable, one more variable. And this is a public variable. For now, I'm going to change it later on, but it is for now. So I'm just going to go, go ahead and name it current cell. It is an integer, of course. Current cell is basically going to tell us uh, what cell are we on right now. So if, uh, I'm going to give it a default value of zero, but it doesn't really matter because it's going to be a random value. Okay. Now, uh, if you're checking if current cell, um, current cell plus one, is a smaller than, uh, 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 which is uh, smaller than total number of cells, which is a size x by size one. So I'm just going to go ahead back to over here and create a private value, private integer, call it total cells, right? We're going to go back down right here. Um, we're going to go total cells equals x size times y size should have done it before but whatever okay now we're gonna check if it is smaller than total cells and so we are basically gonna check if uh, we are not on the uh, if you are not exceeding the total cells limit so it should be uh, smaller than total cells and we're gonna check for the check function now what we're gonna do is basically gonna check if we are not cornering the cell. So it's gonna you're gonna understand what I mean by that in a second. Just hold on. Okay, is not equal to check. Now we're gonna put some values for the check right here, and it is basically check times equals. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, um no not not times equals. I'm, Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go check equals I'm going to go current cell plus one divided by x size right here. Okay, we are basically checking if we are cornering the cell or not. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go check minus equals one and we're gonna go check so times equals um, times equals uh, we are checking on the x-axis so we're gonna put the uh, we're gonna put x-axis or uh, x size right over here so it's gonna be um, times equals x size and check Sorry, check plus equals. Sorry, um, check plus equals. Mm, not y size. We're showing an x axis, so x size. Okay. So once you have done that, you're basically checking if we are not cornering the cell. So we are checking if. Um, uh, so let's just go over here. Okay. So what we are checking is uh, if we are on the ninth, uh, uh, um, uh, if we are on the if, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so if it is a five by five matrix, uh, if, for an example, and we chose a nine as our current cell, so we are basically checking if we are not on the corner department. It means we are not on the um, uh, on the last. Um, element on the x-axis. So if you are on the last element of the x-axis, means there is no west cell. There is no neighbor on the west side. So we will not gonna, uh, we, we are just checking that uh, if we are not cornering the cell on the west side. Okay. 
so that's what we are doing right over here. Now what we're going to do is uh, if we uh, if we are not doing this, what we're going to do is uh, is we're going to make we're going to check if we have visit, visited this cell or not. So we're going to basically going to go over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go if Hold on, my dog is here. Okay, so we are going for the current cell plus one. So we're gonna go if current cell plus one uh, dot visited is equals to false, then do this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this to the neighbor uh, a neighbor airway. So we're gonna go neighbors and we're gonna go ahead and put length over here and we're gonna set it equals to current cell plus one right over here okay now we're gonna increment length just so that you know that we have new element added now we're gonna copy this okay I'm gonna paste it right over here so it's gonna be right over here okay now we're gonna do the same for uh, the the um, east side. So this is uh, here's what we're gonna check for the for the uh, east side. So I'm just gonna call it east, okay? And uh, we're gonna check if if we are uh, if uh, the current cell minus one exists, and if it is, sorry. If it is greater than and equal to um, to 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 the total cells, okay. So we're basically uh, checking. Uh, it is a stupid check, but it will work. Don't worry about it, okay. Now what we are gonna do is we're gonna check if we are not cornering the cell. So current cell, we don't need uh, the negative one department. I'm just gonna check right over here. It should work now, okay. Now we're gonna check if it is false. If it is. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go current cell minus one dot visited, and we're gonna go ahead and go current cell minus one length plus uh, le uh, and we're gonna increment the length. Now we're gonna go for the uh, north and the south ones. Okay, so this is the north one. Okay, now. Uh, uh, north and the east ones are the pretty simple. They are not difficult at all. So we're gonna go ahead and do a simple check. And we're gonna go if current cell plus x size is a smaller than total cells, then we have a north cell uh, with us. Now we're gonna check. Um, and we're gonna put it plus x size. We're gonna put right over here plus x size. There you go. And uh, if uh, uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I sh shouldn't work. It should work. Um, okay, I'll, we'll check that later. Not right now. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for the south one. South one is exactly the same, but in the opposite direction. So we're gonna put uh, negative right here, and uh, also. Um, uh, this is, I guess, going to be greater than or equal to zero because this is a bottom cell. Okay, so it should be equal to greater than or equal to zero, and we're going to check if it is it ex, uh, if it is not been visited, and if it is not been if it is haven't been visited, then add it to our neighbors, increment the length value, and that's pretty much it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna print those neighbors just to check if it is working or not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put debug.log, debug.log, and we're gonna call these neighbors out. Okay, so the first neighbor that we are gonna call is gonna be, sorry, neighbors, and uh, we're gonna call it basically I, I'm gonna go ahead for I equals to zero. Sorry, uh, for integer I equals to zero, and I should be smaller than length, and 
pi increment should be incremented. Okay. So that's pretty much it. This is just to print uh, what neighbors do we have. It's just a simple test. It's not very difficult. Okay. So I guess that's pretty much it. We don't really have to do anything else. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's check it okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to unity let's see if we are getting any errors no we're good um, okay so take a look at it over here we're gonna create a 5 by 5 matrix which is exactly this matrix okay and we're gonna choose current cell as 12 and we should have uh, we should uh, be getting neighbors as 17 11 7 and 13 let's see if it's working or not so I'm gonna put the current cell to 12 so right here, I'm gonna click on play. Okay, so 13, 17, 7. Um, there should be one more. 13, 17, 7. Uh, and 11 should be here, which is the east. There is something wrong on the east side right here. And Mm, east should be all right I, right here okay so it should be equal to zero we are checking for with the zero not total cells I'm sorry okay now it should be working okay 13 11 17 7 all right we're gonna test it one more time we're gonna choose 14 as our new cell so it's gonna be uh, so it will it should return as 19 13 and 9 so we're gonna put right 14 over here we should have only three as output 13, 19, and 9. 13, 19, and 9. We're going to check for 10. All right. So we're going to go ahead and check for 10. We should only have three neighbors. Okay. 11, 15, 5. So 10, 11, 15, 5. Okay. Now the last one we're going to check for 0. So it should be 5, 6, and 1. Sorry, 5 and 1. Okay, so I'm just going to go back. Should be 5 and 1. There you go. It is working pretty fine and uh, that's all we have to do today. I'll see you uh, I'll see you all, uh, all later. And uh, the next episode uh, should be the last one, I'm not sure, but um, we are very close to the end and uh, so far it's going very fine and I'll see you guys um, later. So then, bye. And bye. Wow.